Hi boys and girls, welcome to Maths for today. Right, I am going to describe one of these shapes. Listen carefully and tell me when you know what shape it is. The shape I'm thinking about has three straight sides. It has three points. It has no round sides. What is it? That's right. Lenny, it's the triangle. What about this shape, Lenny? It has no straight sides, no corners. In fact, it just has one big round side. Which one is it? That's right, it's the circle. This next shape has four corners, four straight sides. But two of those sides are long and two of the sides are short. Lenny thinks it's this one. And he's right. It's the rectangle. So that just leaves one shape. The last shape has four sides, four corners, and the sides are all straight and they're all the same size, Lenny. Lenny thinks it's this one. Is he right? That's right, it's the square. Right, thank you for that, Lenny. But now Lenny's got a little bit of an adding problem for us. So, Lenny has a plate and you know he likes bananas. So Lenny's got some bananas. How many bananas has Lenny got? We count them. One, two, three, four, five, six bananas. But then I gave him some carrots. I gave him one, two, three carrots. How many has he got all together? Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So six bananas and three carrots makes nine all together. Why don't you play a game like that with your toys at home? Lenny, I love the pattern that you made with the knives and forks. Oh, he said he did it with his grown-up. Don't do this on your own. Let's see the pattern. It goes knife, fork, knife, fork. What comes next? Clattery knife. What would come next? A fork. Can we carry on the pattern? Yes, we need another knife and another fork. Let's see if we've still got the right pattern. Knife, fork, knife, fork, knife, fork, knife, fork. My goodness, let's try. We need another knife and then we need a fork. Wow, I love that pattern that you've made. I wonder if the boys and girls can make one of those patterns. What's that? to make a pattern with fruit. Can we make a pattern with fruit? Come on then, we'll get rid of those spoons because we don't need those now. I've got some apples and oranges. Should we try and make a pattern with those? Come on then. So we'll put an apple. Then we'll put, oh, Mrs. Mc... Come on, boys and girls. I hope you've spotted that mistake. That's not an apple, it's an orange. Eh, what am I like? Yeah, you're right. It is Mrs. McGoy. We've got an orange. We've got an apple. What comes next? An orange. And then an apple. Then an orange. And then an apple. And then an orange. And what do we need next, boys and girls? Finally, to finish the pattern, we need, oh, right over there, an apple. Your challenge today is, can you make your own pattern? with knives and forks, with your toys, with fruit, with sweets, with buttons, with anything you can find around the house. Don't forget, send us your pattern. Bye for now.